Welcome students, here in this video we are going to discuss about the number of subsets of a finite set. How many uh, possible subsets are there in a finite set? So let us see, let us try to understand it. So <coughs> we have to uh, understand that number of subsets number of subsets of a finite set okay suppose a finite set is having n elements let a be a finite set having number of elements number of elements n okay then what will be the total number of subsets of set a how many yes 2 to the power n then then number of subsets of set A will be 2 to the power n. If number of elements in a set A is n, then number of all the possible subsets of set A will be 2 to the power n, isn't it? We can understand it with the help of the formula of combination. Okay? So, suppose if number of elements in n, then what are the different options for making all the possible subsets? First of all, we know that null set is a every set, that is one option and null set has no element as we know. So, we can make total number of n c 0 subsets of the set A, means total number of elements is n and we are collecting no element because set is empty. Similarly, we can make number of subsets with number of elements, number of members 1. That can be done in the NC1 way. Similarly, NC2 plus NC3 up to NCN. And by the formula of the combinations of objects, we have studied that this is equal to 2 to the power n and this is the result. So now we understand that if any set A is having n number of elements, then total number of subsets of this set will be 2 to the power n, that we have to remember it. Now we will understand what are comparable sets, comparable sets, two sets let A and B are said to be comparable sets if either A is a subset of B or B is a subset of A. Any one of these two is a subset of other, then these two sets are known as comparable sets. Okay? So, let A and B be two sets such that either A is a subset of B or B is a subset of A, then sets A and B are known as comparable sets. Very simple. Next we will try to understand set of sets. We know that a set is having some members, is having some elements. If in case of any set, all these members or all these elements are sets themselves, then this set is known as set of sets. As for example, let us take some sets like null set 
singleton set another set having two elements let us take 1 2 3 4 these four sets if you make a set a such that all these sets are elements members of this set these are elements just like elements or members here each member is a set itself then here set a is called set of sets how many members are here one two three four but each member each element is set itself means set A is a collection of sets, then set A is called set of sets. Here set A is called set of sets. Here A is called set A is called set of sets. Simple. Now we will discuss power set. What is power set? So, definition of power set is collection of all the possible subsets of set A is called power set of A. Let A be a set and set of all the collections of subsets of set A is called power set of set A, power set of set A and this is denoted as P A. As for example, suppose set A is having elements A and B. Then what will be power set of A? This is collection of all the possible subsets of this set A. And what are all the possible subsets? First is empty set. We know that empty set is a subset of every set. Another will be singleton sets consisting of only one element and another will be the set A itself like this. This is a set of all the subsets of this given set A. So, where this set is known as power set of A. This is collection of all the possible subsets of set A and this is denoted as P A. Correct? Now we will see intervals as the subset of real numbers. Let us discuss intervals of the set intervals as subsets of real numbers. Let us see what does it mean? Intervals intervals as subsets of real numbers. You know real number is denoted by R and this set of real number consists of all natural numbers, all integers, all rational numbers, all irrational numbers are included in the set of real number and real number is denoted with the help of a number line like this a real number is denoted with the help of number line okay like this this is an infinite set so we are not limiting this number line with the help of two numbers fine so set of real number is an infinite set. If in this number line we are having suppose 
टू नंबर्स टू रियल नंबर्स ए एंड बी हेयर देन हेयर वी कैन से दैट दिस सेट ए बी इज ए सबसेट ऑफ रियल नंबर हेयर सेट ए बी इज सबसेट ऑफ रियल नंबर करेक्ट एंड देर आर टू डिफरेंट ऑप्शन इफ दीज टू पॉइंट ए एंड बी आर बींग कंसिडर्ड देन द सेट ए बी इंटरवल ए बी विल बी नोन एज अ क्लोज सेट एंड विट इज डिनोटेड एज लाइक दिस इन ए ब्रैकेट क्लोज ब्रैकेट ए बी हेयर ए बी इज अ सेट ऑफ रियल नंबर केस नंबर वन केस नंबर टू इफ दीज नंबर्स ए एंड बी आर नॉट कंसिडर्ड वी आर कंसिडरिंग दिस इंटरवल एक्सक्लूडिंग दीज टू नंबर्स ए एंड बी देन दिस इंटरवल ए बी इज नोन एज सबसेट ऑफ रियल नंबर but that will not be a closed interval that will be open interval and we write like this so you see the differences in the brackets ab is a subset of set real number okay third case there may be one side open one side closed if the real number is like this here point or number a which is being denote which is being deleted which is not been considered and another point b is here which is being considered being taken inside the interval then this interval is open closed interval and will be written like this this side is open towards a and this side towards b is closed here this is a subset of set of a real number similarly a subset as an interval may be closed open this is open this side this side closed another case may be closed this side and this side open like this fourth case suppose this is a real number set of real numbers denoted by r and here in this set of real numbers we are having two points a and sorry two points a and b so we are considering interval ab but a is being included and b has been excluded from this interval then this is a closed open interval like this a side closed b side open this is subset of set of a real number r correct and this set of real number can be extended in the left side up to minus infinity and in the right side up to plus infinity so if we consider see fifth case from minus infinity to any point suppose a if we considering this interval then this is written as minus infinity and plus infinity will be always open because that is not a fixed point not a fixed number so minus infinity side will always open minus infinity and we are considering this point so this side will be closed this is also a subset of a real number similarly sixth case suppose this is real number this is point a which is being considered and infinity is this side and we are considering here this interval from point a to plus infinity point a number a is being included then this is a closed open open up to plus infinity and will be written like this open this side number a is being closed and right side is infinity that will be open this is also a subset of 
real number of this number line. So, intervals as subset of real numbers can be represented in many different ways depending upon the nature of the interval, nature of the subset of a real number. Okay? So, I hope we have understood this concept of intervals as subset of real numbers. Now, in the next video, we will see some problems related to this interval, some uh, subsets, uh, power sets, etc. So, please keep watching these videos and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you very much.